question, the member from Davenport. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Labour. Speaker, yesterday the Minister, alongside the Premier, announced the government's exciting response to the changing workplaces review. We heard that the workplace of today is not the same as when legislation was first created to protect workers. Our economy is strong and it is growing. It is outperforming other jurisdictions. Our unemployment rate is the lowest it has been in 16 years, but not everyone is feeling the benefits of our strong economy. People are worried about falling behind, even as they work so hard to get ahead. I have heard from constituents and community groups in my riding of Davenport that they are struggling to support their families on part-time, contract or minimum wage work. Our workers want stability in their jobs and to avoid tough decisions on whether they should earn a wage for the day Question. or take care of themselves or their families. Speaker, can the minister please tell us more about the government's proposed measures to help safeguard employees and create fairer and better Thank workplaces? You. Minister of Labour. Thank you, Speaker, and uh, I'll tell you how proud I am to stand today and to answer uh, that question from the member from Davenport. I'm so happy to stand uh, today in the House on this really important issue, Speaker. When we launched the Changing Workplaces Review two years ago, we did so on the understanding, Speaker, that workplaces had changed. The workplace that a lot of us entered as young people simply have changed. The legislation needed to change with it. And we know, Speaker, the responsible change can ensure that every hard-working person in the province of Ontario has a chance to reach their full potential. Speaker, Ontario's got a tradition of fairness and decency in our workplaces. They've got to continue to be the defining values. Whether it's wage equality that lifts people out of poverty, paid sick days, Speaker, that will allow working parents to take better care of themselves and their children, leaves that allow Ontarians to take care of themselves, Answer. their loved ones, Speaker, increased enforcement, Speaker. I am proud of the response of this government, Speaker, to one of the best written reports I've Thank seen you. in the history of Ontario yeah. Labour Law. Supplementary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the Minister for his answers. I am thrilled to hear about these proposed changes. Minister, you already know that we need to move forward in order to give people a fair chance in today's workplace. A few years back, our government ended the minimum wage freeze that the pre previous Progressive Conservative government had brought in. We put together a plan and a system that raised the minimum wage by 70% since 2003. As a result of those changes, full-time minimum wage earners in the province are currently making $2,392 per year more than they did three years ago. But, Minister, as I have written and spoken to you in the past, you know that I believe all Ontarians should have a fair and livable wage of $15 an hour. Yesterday, you and the Premier announced that we are going further to support our minimum wage earners. I know that these proposed measures are going to greatly improve the lives of the hardworking people in my riding of Davenport. Can the Minister please tell us more about the proposed changes to minimum wage? Thank you, Minister. Speaker, there's no member in this House that has advocated or been involved more than the member for Davenport on this issue, Speaker. She has stood up for her constituents, Speaker in a way that uh, is unlike many others. Hard-working Ontarians really deserve to be paid that decent wage. Everybody's got to have the right to be able to provide their families with the necessities of daily life. Speaker, what we propose to do is increase Ontario's general minimum wage to $14 per hour on January 1st of 2018 and then to $15 an hour on January 1st of 2019. <laughs> Speaker, that's going to ensure that Workers across this province are paid fairly for their work. It's going to help them get ahead. It's going to help them share in the economic prosperity of this province. It's going to support higher consumer spending. Higher wages, Speaker, support strong business. That's because yes, employers sir. don't create uh, customers. To, uh, customers create the wealth, Speaker. The spending is where it's going to. I can't wait to hear the response from the other parties. You. you know where we stand.